fifth dimension. Aquarius, I am. We in the Aquarius age for the next 2,000 years, you dig? Swing low. Time to move on. Light years and time ahead of our time. I want to free your mind by helping you understand the zodiac signs. That's right, you're live with Aquaman in the zodiac zone where the cosmos is your home. I'm your very own Ampoo, the real urban guru, coming through on the mothership. So let's open up your cosmic memory bank and swing down to earth with a shit stain. Hey, peace, what's happening, man? Welcome to Hip Hop Astrology TV. I'm your host, Ampoo, the real urban guru also known as the union soldier when you see me representing that flag right there i'm in my union soldier mode i'm talking about the united states flag i'm talking about the only flag that came to get niggas up out of slavery i'm talking about this has everything to do with today's conversation kevin hart and 50 cent how stay right there i'm gonna break it down that's what i do i'm gonna show you the great signs of God and how God moves, all right? So before we get into all that good stuff, man, listen, go to theimaginationguru.com. Check out my brother, the Prime Minister, Minister Jew, having a webinar, Programming Your Inner Space, The Keys to Self-Realization, all right? Mark your calendars for July 23rd, all right? That's a Sunday, 12 noon. Mark your calendars for the 13th, 10 days prior. Because we're going to give you a free sneak peek into this particular webinar. Absolutely free. Only thing you got to do is go to the website, theimaginationguru.com. Drop your email off, all right? And we're going to send you on the 13th at 7.45 p.m. Eastern. You're going to get an email from us. In that email, you're going to have the phone number to call and the link to see the free online webinar we're gonna give you an introduction to the upcoming webinar programming your inner space so get over there to the imagination guru.com make that happen all right i'm up on the 20th come and get a webinar with me i'm talking about kitty karma i'm talking about removing negative energy before it starts i'm telling you we can see negative patterns based off of where the planets were born where the planets were at when a person was born most importantly, how to remove that negative energy and start cultivating the high side of the chart, the high side of the energy, the potential that a person has. All right. Wouldn't it be great to know a child's potential, then put them in that direction and watch them naturally unfold in that potential. And then you continuously push them versus them not knowing and you not knowing. All right. So Kitty Karma, removing negative energy before it starts. This is August the 20th. Mark your calendars for that. First 10 people, got a few slots left. First 10 people that sign up, I'll give you a reading for free in the webinar so I can educate the audience. When you come into that webinar, you're going to walk up out of there knowing how to do this for yourself. Okay? So get to this webinar. But I got a bonus for you. I'll show you how to get in this webinar for free. You have to get this solar and lunar eclipse special that I'm doing. Crackhead price is only $99. Listen, I consult with celebrities, okay? Grammy winning celebrities, Grammy nominated celebrities, real live, uh, what we call life coaches who are on TV. Literally, I consult with the stars. Real talk, all right? Get this $99 crackhead price special. Because when you do before August the 1st, it must be before August 1st, I'm going to put you in that webinar, Kitty Karma, absolutely free on me. All right. And the last thing we have and the great thing is the Pocono Mountain Retreat. Three days, three nights in the beautiful Poconos. Come with your game plan. Come with your success plan. We're going to get it in. Have great dialogue. I'm going to meet you in Philadelphia on the 22nd. I got two vans. I got two houses in the Poconos, one for the ladies and one for the brothers. All right. Truth be told, there's always so many women that come on our trip. It's basically going to be two houses for the women. All right. But um, anyway, two houses. The idea is to have a brother house and a sister house. All right. So anyway, um, I'm going to get you up in the Poconos on Friday. All right. We're going to have some private time with each other and talk about the business plan, success and things of that nature. All right, Saturday, we're going to wake up and we're doing a, a waterfall meditation in the beautiful Poconos. We're going to have extended 
special spa services available where you can have one-on-one time, all right, to get some uh, massage therapy done, facials done, also some energy work called Reiki. I'm going to have my other technology available showing you the energy fields of the human body called your chakras, your aura, the energy field around you. You ever had somebody like, it's just something about that person. I don't know. I'm not feeling their energy. Something about bad vibrations. Well, there's technology now that can show you what this vibration is all about. Most importantly, which your vibration is all about. I'm going to have that there. Okay. Saturday, we're going to have a cook off. All right. A little battle of the sexes, a little food taste, nothing major. All right. Um, that night we're going to have great conversation, myself and my brother, the prime minister conversations with the priesthood. All right. Um, kind of goes like our book, spiritual wisdom for the 21st century on Amazon. Get that book. It's on Amazon spiritual wisdom for the 21st century. Get that. All right. Sunday, we're going to wake up and we're going to have a, uh, early afternoon day party, all white. I'm talking champagne, orange juice, mimosas, fruit, nice brunch. You're going to have a complimentary 20 minute facial on me. You're also going to have a foot scrub on me. Okay. Or you can swap that out for a massage on me on Sunday. All right. You're entitled to this. Everybody's going to get it. Why? Because when you touch down Monday, when we check out and you go back on to, 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 to your grind, you need to be in a state of balance. That's what the equinox is all about. The fall equinox is a state of balance. Okay. This is the own first. It's only two times when the earth is in complete balance with even amount of daylight and nighttime. This is that time in order to get to this retreat, you must be a member. So the commercial, um, that you will see or have been seeing, get into the love fund. Okay. Get into this love fund. And this is how you can become a member. Then you'll be eligible for the Pocono retreat. Only have a few seats left over there on that. All right. Well, my preliminary preliminary list is getting filled up. All right. So make that happen. And um, I'll be right back after the break and we're going to get it in. Are you plagued by trauma, abandonment or abuse? The Imagination Guru has helped thousands just like you overcome emotional memories that prevent you from happiness and success using the power of your mind. Overcome your trauma, overcome your abandonment, overcome your abuse by first making the decision right now to call the Imagination Guru at 1-877-345-3797 and live the life you deserve. Hey, this is Shantae. Um, I want to say how much I love to love fun. I've gotten my bills paid many times. I've helped other people get their bills paid. Uh, I love it. It always comes with it at the right time, and um, I would tell anybody and everybody to at least try it because it, it works. Okay, so what are we talking about today? All right, we're talking about Kevin Hart. I'm gonna talk about Fifty Cent because they both share the same birthday. Okay, I'm talking about Philadelphia. I'm talking about the birthplace of independence because Kevin Hart is from Philly. So for a long time, I've had this banner up the, you know, the spiritual success of Kevin Hart, who's the heartbeat of America. Um, because he is, you know what I mean? You, we, we're talking about defining why Kevin Hart is a major star Let's call it for what it is. Why he is the most successful comedian ever. I'm not saying he's the funniest, and that could be debatable. But I'm just talking about doing things no one else has ever done. Okay? Whether it be stadiums, your own productions, you know, cross-marketing that inside of apps and clothing and, and making the world run with Kevin Hart through Nike, whatever it may be. I'm talking about why is he the biggest? And I'm going to show you why he's the biggest star keynote on star. Okay. So to get with Kevin Hart, to understand Kevin Hart, you got to understand Philadelphia where he's born. Okay. Philly is the birthplace of the United States of America. When it comes to independence, I'm not saying the 13 colonies. I want to be clear. The United States of America. Okay. 
the Declaration of Independence. Very important to understand that. In fact, when we look at the Declaration of Independence, it was, we know it as July 4th, 1776. And on July 4th, 1776, or any July 4th, for real, for real, we have the same alignment where you'll see the sun is by the Gemini constellation and look down on the screen, you will see the dog constellation known as Canis Major and a bright star called Sirius, okay? But don't look down. Understand that Sirius is light years behind the sun, behind the sun, okay? It's a perfect alignment. This is a perfect alignment on July the 4th. Perfection, baby. Okay? Very, very important to understand this. All right? So the Declaration of Independence was purposely signed when there was a major alignment of the earth. That's you looking at this picture as if and today is July 9th that I'm making this video. So this is you on earth looking at the sun right now. You can go outside right now and look at the sun. And if you have some cool glasses, you can block the light out of the sun and you could see the star Sirius. Now I'm gonna add this in here because this is not originally in my slide, but I'm gonna add it in here. Remember in the movie National Treasure about the Masonic secret with Nicolas Cage and when they went to Independence Hall, they had found some special glasses. And these special glasses un was revealing the code to get them from Philly to go to the next stop, which was New York, which is 50 Cent. And I'm going to tie all this in to one another. All right? Feel like Bobby Hemming. Y'all right? All right. Cool. So imagine having on these special glasses like I got on right now. I got these star glasses on because you got to be able to see the stars, man. You got to understand how this works, man. They say that the wise men found Jesus by understanding the stars, man. That's what the scriptures say. So don't look at me like I'm crazy and I'm funkadelic, which I am. But hey, I'm talking about some wisdom here. All right. And so on July 4th, we're talking about a very special, special, special alignment. OK, so now this next picture that you're going to see is called an ephemeris. This gives us the planetary location in any date and time. OK, so you see it. July 2017. We go to the far left column because this is the whole month of July. And the far left column gives you all of the dates in July. And then you see planetary glyphs going across the sun, the moon, the node, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Neptune and Pluto, but we want to pay attention to the sun. So we want to go to the far left column and go to July 4th on July 4th. The very next column says 12 degrees, 12 degrees. What go all the way up in that second column and what you see, you see the Zodiac sign cancer. So around July the 4th, the sun is at 12 degrees cancer. I'm here to tell you that we don't live in a perfect circle. How do you put 365 days in a year inside of a 360 degree circle. So therefore we don't live in a perfect circle. Okay. We live in an elliptic circle. Okay. So July 4th, the sun on average is 12, 13 degrees. Okay. And this is important because 13 degrees cancer now starts to signify, okay, 13 colonies was originally the formation of the United States of America, the 13 colonies facts. And then this later became symbolic for the 13 stars in what they call the Bessie Ross flag. All right. A flag that was flying in the early seven in the late 1700s. The 13 stars are symbolic for the 13 colonies, which is symbolic for the special alignment of 13 degrees cancer is when the sun and Sirius are in a direct alignment with one another. And then this flag also, which today as well, boasts the 13 red and white stripes, giving you a total of 13 stripes. Okay. Facts. This is about celestial alignments. Hello. You, you, you pledge allegiance to a flag that has stars in it. So you have to come to the star gang, baby. You have to, it's a, it's, you just have to. Okay. So let's keep it moving. Now, this picture is a picture of uh, the city hall in Philadelphia. 
in the middle of city hall city hall is like a square building and you can all from each direction you can walk directly through it okay and in the middle smack dab in the middle is a compass with zodiac signs in them right this is real real special because on the east which direction do muslims pray when they pray east why the east because you say, well, the sun rises in the east. So for my masons, then, then why does, you know, what's, who's in the east? The worshipful master is in the east because the sun rises in the east. But the truth of the matter is that's an illusion. The sun don't physically rise. The earth is turning in that direction and gives the illusion that things on the eastern horizon rises. And then it turns to the south, then the west. And then when it's nighttime, things are going to the north. But technically, it's the earth spinning in that direction. But for layman's terms, let's say energy rises in the east. OK, like the sunrise. OK, cool. Look at the constellation that they have right there at the east. Cancer, which is the constellation we know light years behind cancer is serious. OK, so we're talking Philadelphia Declaration of Independence, July the 4th. We know that's now in a special once a year alignment from Earth. This is the only time that you can see the sun directly in front of Sirius. OK, the only time. All right. Special alignment. OK. And now when you go to City Hall, you have the zodiac sign cancer facing the eastern direction. Two things. The red, white and blue for the fireworks or the United States flag is symbolic for red is the sun, white is serious, that's what it would look like at night, and blue is the earth. That's your three wise men in the Bible who are studying or looking at the star of Bethlehem to find the Messiah. I guess I'm the Messiah, baby, telling you that. All right. So I, this is the Aquarian age and I am an Aquarius. I'm just telling you the truth. So the second thing is I understand that this Zodiac will, and, and I'm going to get into a different pitch here. This Zodiac will in city hall, they, this person who painted it, I can tell did not have astronomical knowledge. And the reason I say that, although it's in perfect alignment with the spirit of Philadelphia, and this is how you know when the spirit of God comes in and takes over a person and has a and has a person do righteous things so you can figure it out later. OK. Excuse me. So what I mean by that is technically after cancer is Leo. So Leo should be to the left of the can of the crab not to the right okay because if you understand the rotation cancer's in the east and then cancer is about to start going down like towards you on the screen looking at it going down towards the south then that means the next sign up on the east will be leo so that's how the heavens rotate okay so i can tell this person didn't have acute astronomical knowledge but nevertheless, the point is still there because the, the point is a hey, cancer, which is serious, is on the eastern horizon. And this is Philadelphia who declares its independence on July 4th. OK. And voila, it's, it's just there. OK, that's how you find the spirit of the creator. So let me put some symbolism to this. And, and we got to really understand this serious thing because a. The Dogon in Africa have the most advanced knowledge of this star Sirius in Mali. OK, facts. Books are written about Sirius, a lot of them. Sirius Mystery is one of the most popular ones. The Temple of Isis at the bottom in Philae. That's interesting. Like Philadelphia in Philae, the Temple of Isis, the, the interest was built upon the alignment of Sirius. OK. And then speed it up to modern day time right now, Sirius XM radio satellite, uh, satellite radio rather, is the most popular brand there is. And, they're, and look, they, their whole logo is the dog star because that constellation remembers Canis Major, K9, it looks like a dog. 
It's a star that looks like it's sitting in a dog constellation. So that's why they use that logo. So Sirius Radio is in alignment with the brightest star of all of the heavens. Do you know how many freaking stars there are in the heavens? So to be the brightest one makes you the boss boss. Okay, so Sirius is in alignment with that. Thus, they're the biggest boss in the game. Facts, man. So let's get into Kevin Hart, who's born on July the 6th. He's only born two days later from the Independence Day, July 4th. So every year around this time, the sun is going to be in alignment with Sirius. Facts, whether it's 1776 or whether it's 1979. Kevin Hart is Philadelphia. He is the golden child of what freedom represents in America. Straight up. G give me Oprah and Kevin Hart in the White House or give me shit. You can have an all woman party. But, you know, my point is Kev is the man. Because he is the spirit of Philadelphia, which is the birthplace of this entire nation. Now, we're going to have to really ponder this shit for a minute because this is serious, man. Like, you got to really understand something. Like, you could have been a slave, but the chain of events, you did you wasn't born in that timeline, nor did slavery extend itself from the early 1600s, as they say, up into 2017 right now. So since you're not a slave and, and you look at this stuff and it's like, well, shit, the de Declaration of Independence, the country is free. It's all about these freedoms and whatnot. You got to ask yourself, like, you know, why are you free? And I'll tell you why you're free. And a lot of I'm going to be real. Niggas can't handle it. They can't because niggas are 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 are. Man, they just they, they 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 are attached to the emotional pain from racism, which still exists today, and I understand that, and then from historical racism of the past, okay, and of course slavery, but you got free through the United States of America, man. I got to say that shit, and I'm gonna say that shit, and I'm not about to let nobody disrespect that. Real talk, y you start hearing people that's in so much pain, they start talking about how. The Northern Army came and got niggas free because it was a trick to get you up north to, to, to free you. And they only had their best interests at heart. I don't give a damn what their interest was, because if you can imagine yourself being a damn slave, I don't care what their interest was. Because guess what? If it was all like that, like me and Minister Jew said, they could have said, you know what? Transfer these niggas up north and shackle their ass up to a machine. And they'll never get off work and they'll forever work inside of these plants for free. Instead, that ain't what the record shows, man. The record shows that niggas was free. Detroit, places like that up north became heavily populated. They created something called Black Bottom. Niggas started working for GM. Niggas started buying houses. Niggas started buying motherfucking uh, uh, businesses and uh, cars. All kind of stuff started happening. But niggas is in so much pain about black history in 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 white America and shit that they justify slavery or freedom from slavery as being a diabolical trick. In the moment that somebody does that, I am telling you, get away from them niggas because them niggas is sick and they don't even know that they sick. They got so much goddamn hatred in their heart that they don't even understand that they motherfucking sick. And I gotta say that. All right, that shit burns me up as you can tell. All right, because it has everything to do with my man. See, I only follow three people on Instagram. Three people, Kevin Hart, DJ Khaled, and DJ Envy, because they all married happy men, period. That's my only reason, all married happy folks, all right? So Kevin Hart is the embodiment of independence, Philadelphia. Now watch how the spirit of coincidences, the spirit of the creator moves, okay? So Kevin Hart says, you know what? My brand is going to be called Heartbeat Productions. This is a fact. Well, it makes sense because his name is Kevin Hart. Okay. So he said, okay, a heart has a heartbeat. Makes sense. It ain't hard to figure out. Okay. Heartbeat Productions. But Philadelphia has a park called Love Park. 
because Philadelphia is named from Philios, which means brotherly love. Okay. So the heart is the chamber that we express what? I love you. So is that too a coincidence that like Kevin could have been Kevin James? Why Kevin Hart? Like he could have just been Kevin James. You know, he's already born in a special alignment in Philadelphia, what Philadelphia is based upon. And then you all see also carries the name that, that he carries the English last name, love. I'm mean, sorry, heart that embodies the principle of the Greek first name of Philadelphia, Philios, which is love. So there's a twinning concept that takes place. This is why when you go to the book of Revelations in the Bible, it talks about these seven churches and one of these seven churches is Philadelphia. You think that it's a historical book, but it's really talking about states of consciousness in which you right now are personifying in the living flesh. You are the God. They call me Hove, right? Peace God. But you have to really know it and own up to that shit. You just can't say it. You got to know it. All right. So anyway, anyway, this is why Kevin Hart is successful. He just simply is the physical walking prototype of Philadelphia. God had to come and say, look at this shit. Niggas is slaves. It's all messed up over here. All right. So let me get them free They get free. OK, now that we free and we move to a phase of success now, let me get somebody a physical embodiment of what this history represents so you can keep on evolving. OK. All right. Hope you get that. All right. So next, Kevin Hart, 50 Cent, 50 Cent and Kev, they both got the same birthday, July the 6th. OK, so shout out to 50, because this means that 50 cents, when you look at his astronomy and look at his position no matter what like i said i don't care if it's 1776 or 1975 the sun is in the exact same alignment with sirius so 50 cent is tapping into this power baby so hence he has a show called power but damn is it a coincidence that when he has a show called power the network that pick it up is called star Stars Network? Come on, man. Stop it. I mean, I'm telling you, damn, do y'all really believe in God? Or yes, see, this is how I know. If I'm crazy, nigga, you don't believe you an atheist. Real talk. Real talk. And I know my scientists, I know y'all atheists, and I deal with y'all on a whole nother platform. All right. But man, listen, like I can't be making this up. This is facts. All right. So Let's get into 50 because it gets very interesting because 50 cent is really the embodiment of General Grant, who's on a $50 bill. I know y'all thinking like this nigga then lost his mind. The United States don't no longer have 13 stars, ladies and gentlemen. We moved in advance to 50 states, so now we got 50 stars. Okay. The bottom right picture is a statue of General Grant in Philadelphia in Fairmount Park before he became President Grant. This is my general right here. That's my so this is my general right here. General Grant. This is the nigga who put it in to General Lee. That's 15 states one slavery. Union soldier who you better be. I'm telling you. This is the one who made General Grant, who was representing the slave holding South, surrender. Everybody should be respecting 50, whether it be the 50 stars, whether it be $50 bill, <laughs> whether it be 50 cent. God damn it. Listen, I'm telling you what's real. All right. And also in the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran opens up in Surah 53, which is like chapter 53. And it says, and that it is he who is the Lord of Sirius. So even the Quran knows the Syrian aspect. Now, here's the kicker. Sirius has a companion star that you don't see is invisible. But the Dogon knew about it and put Europeans on it first. But they first knew about it. And then Europeans came and studied under the Dogon. The Dogon told them there was a 
another star that's there that you don't see. Okay, Potolo, Sirius B. And th then later, Europeans discover, like, God damn it, they were right. How the hell do they know? They don't even have telescopes. Okay, well, it takes 50 years for those two stars to switch positions. They do like this figure eight dance with one another and they switch positions. And it takes 50 years on average to do that. So now we got to pay attention because the United States first, the 13 colonies, that's God. Um, then evolves from 13 stripes and 13 colonies all the way up to 50 states. You got to ask yourself, why did it stop at 50? And is it a coincidence that it's right back in alignment with the rotation of Sirius, which it originally patterned itself off of the United States with the, with the, you know, with being at July 4th, the sun is in front of Sirius about 13 degrees cancer. Come on, man. I, I can't I can't be making this up. And so shout out 50 Cent again because 50 Cent is in power because he's a Syrian in a sense. He, he, I mean, the sun is right in front of that sun. Truth be told, Sirius is so bright. It's a sun, but it's so far away. It looked like a star. And the real, real truth is our solar system is rotating around that particular star. And that sun system, this is why the ancient Dogon say we really come from that particular system. Facts. I'm just giving you some game that the Africans talked about who seem to be light years ahead of humanity with this vast knowledge. All right. And, and then when you look at Sirius XM radio, like I said, that and tapped in and now they sit at the number one seat. And then when you start seeing people who have these birthdays, they come to power and they become number ones in their respective genres. Is it a coincidence? Like, uh, like, come on, man, this is, this is real spill. All right. So, um, I just wanted to give y'all that, man. I, I wanted to give y'all that, you know what I mean? Real talk. You know what I mean? And we can have another dialogue some other time where we can talk about this whole, this whole slavery concept and how you got free, man. I'm, I'm going to put it like this and I'm going to come off of it. Didn't know other flags, didn't know red, black, and green flags come and get niggas up out of slavery, B. Didn't know Islamic flags. I don't care if it was Moorish. I don't care if it was Nation of Islam. Didn't know, didn't know Islamic flags, the Moors from overseas. Didn't nobody come and get niggas out of slavery. Only one person answered that damn call. And that's the greatest president to ever do it. And his name is Abraham Lincoln. That's a fact. That is on the record that he's the greatest president that changed the face of this whole nation. And his general, our general, my general, General Ulysses S. Grant on a $50 bill, which is lining up with the great cosmos, man, of the Syrian Ray. Hey. What Jay say? What more can I say? So with that, man, I leave y'all in peace. G -g 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 yeah. Union soldier. Y'all better understand the science. Slaves got free following the North Star, man. That's a fact. Come up to the North. Shout out Migos, representing the North Side, man. Wonder why North coming up in your consciousness right now? North Star, freedom, understand it. I know I done told you, Abe nigga Union soldier. General Grant and the Calvary Put it in to General Lee That's 15 states wanting slavery Northern Army, who you better be? The USA is not the KKK That was the white confederate I'ma leave y'all with that Facts Prophecy is what we all have to go by now